Hi, my name is John Burroughs. I am um, a senior lecturer at the University of Chicago's Harris School of Public Policy, and I'm kind of the faculty lead in this, this program that we'll be teaching in Shanghai this summer, and I'm really excited to, to be part of it. I'm going to be co-teaching it with a colleague of mine, Shilin Liu, um, but we're both going to be you know, there on the ground, day in, day out, and, and can't wait to, to collaborate with you all. My background is, is a little unusual for, for an academic. Um, most um, folks who teach at places like University of Chicago um, get their PhD in their sort of mid, late 20s and, and then sort of keep their head down and, and climb the ladder uh, within academia. And there's certainly a tremendous amount of value from, from my colleagues who, who had that background. I have a slightly different background in that I had a professional career first. Um, I, out of college, I went into management consulting and spent several years in management consulting. Then I was in the software industry um, and had exposure around the world in the software industry, both public sector and private sector. I then um, began my executive MBA at the University of Chicago's Booth School of Business, um, completed that um, and became a partner at Accenture. A large global professional services firm and then decided I really had this itch to return to academia. I really enjoyed my, my MBA studies and felt that I wanted to get back in, into academia and was fortunate enough to, to sort of be welcomed back to Booth this time as a PhD student. So I got my PhD in behavioral science from Booth between the ages of 35 and 40. I was a bit older than most um, but I think given what I teach and what I've obviously now taught for 10 plus years at University of Chicago and Oxford University in, in the UK, you know, I teach, you know, how do you get stuff done, right? How do you think more rigorously about making better decisions? How do you understand complex organizations? How do you negotiate with a variety of stakeholders? And I'm a big believer that, that any of us who are talking about that stuff are substantially advantaged if they've actually done it. So what is the ILC? Well, an international leadership credential that's two weeks residential in Shanghai in the middle of August. Um, it's about authentic leadership development and I'm looking forward to, to sort of helping you on this leadership journey. This program is intended for young professionals, whether they are undergraduates, whether they're recent graduates, or maybe a couple of years out. But I'm a big believer that, that, that there are a range of skills that don't tend to be taught as broadly as they ought to be um, and have a, a tremendous ROI. You know, there's a lot of sort of upside to a relatively modest amount of, of learning effort. How might you choose to engage uh, with me and, and, and Shillin in, 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 this, in this program? I think it's important to bring energy to the classroom, right? I think certainly there's going to be value in the classroom. I will do some lectures, um, but my teaching approach tends to be very experiential. Right, so yes, there'll be lecture, but the, a typical uh, you know, classroom session will meet with me will be part lecture, part facilitated dialogue, part experiential exercise. So I might put you into small groups, maybe pairs to leave the classroom for 20 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe longer towards the end of our time together with ever more complex you know, um, exercises to grapple with. We'll then come back to the classroom and discuss those. But I also think it's important to, to, to think that you're gonna be spending time with me and your, your classmates over lunches and dinners and, and be able to bring questions that go beyond the scope of the sort of the, the academic coursework, right? I look very much at this program as one that's not just about what I can teach you uh, academically, but I'd like to think that, that, that I might be able to answer questions about uh, career decisions, right? You know, the, you, we're, we're catering to a younger audience here, and you're trying to figure out, do I want to go and become a management consultant? Do I want to work in investment banking? Do I want to be in the policy world? Do I want to be in the private sector? Which country might I choose to move to should I have the, that kind of flexibility? So I, I, I think you know, bringing energy engagement both in and out of the classroom is going to be incredibly important. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this sort of quick summary of, of what we'll be uh, hopefully engaging in together over the summer. I really look forward to meeting all of you. Feel free to reach out to us via email if you have additional questions. Um, but uh, I sincerely hope to see you in, in the middle of August in Shanghai. Take care.